Skeletal muscles frequently undergo acute damage during an organism's lifetime, and their complete regeneration is critically important to maintain the body's integrity and homeostasis. Immune cells, and in particular monocyte-derived macrophages, have a dual role during damage and regeneration. First, these cells sense and react to the injury, remove necrotic debris, and then transition to initiate tissue restoration through the production of effectors such as growth factors. The orchestrated sequence of regenerative inflammatory events, called the Regeneration Promoting Program, is essential for proper repair. However, it is not well understood how specialized repair macrophage identity develops during regenerative inflammation at the transcriptional level and how induced macrophage-derived factors coordinate tissue repair. In this study, we use an in vivo model of sterile physiological inflammation in mice to carry out a transcriptomic analysis of the circulating monocytes and the muscle-derived infiltrating macrophage subpopulations involved in regeneration. We identified the secreted growth factor GDF15, a divergent member of the TGF-beta superfamily, acting both on proliferating myoblast and muscle-infiltrating myeloid cells. Deletion of GDF15 in mice showed a pronounced delay in skeletal muscle regeneration and delayed the inflammatory to repair subtype conversion of macrophages. Furthermore, we found that the nuclear receptors PPAR gamma and RXR alpha regulate the expression of GDF15 at the transcriptional level and repair macrophages. Finally, we revealed that GDF15 is co-expressed with other known muscle regeneration-associated growth factors, and their expression is limited to a unique subpopulation of repair-type macrophages we named growth factor-expressing macrophages. Taken together, our data identify the PPAR gamma RXR GDF15 axis as a novel and essential component of macrophage-mediated skeletal muscle repair. They support a role for GDF15 as a local autocrine and paracrine factor coordinating myoblast proliferation and myeloid cell invasion and activity during tissue injury.